hashtags. So we all love using hashtags to help grow our brands, but instead of typing them individually in every single post you do, see here's our event pages, overall impressions and followers. And then overall, if you're trying to make sales through your Instagram, whether that's through a Good morning, guys. We are here in Chicago, Illinois for my second blogger and influencer event. I am currently getting ready, still in my pajamas. It's, let's see, it's 7 a.m. We got up about 6.15 and the event, we get there at 9 to set up and then everyone's going to start coming in around 10. Now it's time for business and time to get serious and put on a great event and then have some more fun. So I'm going to continue getting ready and then... We're going to head to the venue. We just got to the space. It is the most beautiful event space ever. There's sitting area and then all of our chairs. And then we have our projector screen up here. So Jenna's about to be here any second and we're gonna start setting up the goodie bags and all of that. It is amazing. I'm gonna have my laptop set up here and it's so nice outside. It is a great, great day. Okay. Where's my hash? Starting it up and yeah. here to learn, which is super exciting. Yeah, I'm very excited to learn. Yeah, we're home. <laughs> and she offered to co host one with me here in Chicago, which I've never been to till yesterday. And actually, Jen and I just met in person this morning. So it's crazy what you can do through the online space these days. But we're um, and events is something that I've always wanted to do. So I reached out to Hannah, and this is kind of kicking off this part of my business. Um, other than that, I do like graphic design, social media, all of that stuff. So, our sponsors and Jen actually put together the physical bags, which I'll let you talk about. Yeah, so as an entrepreneur and for work, I also do um, digital marketing because I run my own digital marketing agency. And I'm also happy to say that Jen and I have both moved our personal Instagrams to now using a plan as well. So, a few things you can do through it is, of course, plan your Instagram feed like other planning apps. So, it allows you to put in your photos before you post them so you can see what your grid looks like. You don't need to have the best of the best. It's easy to tell ourselves stories of, oh, well, she has a really professional camera, my content will never look like that, or they have a really cute, they have all of your outfits. I started my YouTube with American Girl Doll Stop Motions, and my content is very different from that now. <laughs> so, it is definitely okay to evolve and change, but if you stay, I'll, I'll explain if you stay true to like yourself and you always put your personality in it, no matter I found, no matter what niche you go into, your followers will stay with you because it's still you and you're not changing your personality for each niche of content. But how do you remember to actually set up your camera or your phone to shareable content that's relatable for you guys, you know, like the amount of people who love my like boxing videos, I love to box. I like post it almost once a week, but the amount of community that I built over that and talked about boxing and workouts and stuff is amazing. 
her like, travel outfits that I posted there, some of my like favorite travel shoes, things like that. But um, typically, a lot of the brands I like to wear and more products I buy are. No problems whatsoever. And people were coming up to me at the end. One woman said she'd been to two events yesterday and both were awful. Oh, really? <laughs> so they were a mess. Oh, she goes, this was bad. so well put together and so organized. And that just makes me feel so cool. I, I know. I know. And Jen. I gotta put Jen in, yeah, the, go get Jen. in the video. So I'm here with my lovely co host, Hi. Jen. Oh my gosh, we did it. I know. It's over. It went so well. It's so great. We're so happy with everything. And yeah. yeah it was such weird dirty talk. But it was such great working <laughs> with her over the past yeah. few months. We met in person this morning. Yeah. I know. So it just shows you, like, film that location, stop you. you exactly. Can, you can meet up with exactly. Whoever, so. yeah. Okay. We're back now in the hotel. I put on mom's tank top. And oh my gosh. I'm so tired, but so happy with everything, how it went, like it's so, I've been working on this event every now and then for since September with Jen is when we first started planning it. And we really got into it like in the last month, but it's just crazy to see it all come together and it's so rewarding because you do so much work behind a computer and by yourself and on a phone call, but when you actually meet the people in person and be in the space, it's so rewarding. So now it's about 2 7 and I'm gonna eat our leftovers from last night mom's leftovers we also have snagged some donuts that are beautiful from the event and I'm gonna go on Instagram and look at all of the posts and everything I'm tagging because I haven't gotten to do that yet and check Instagram at all really today so that's what we're gonna do and then I'm gonna edit the photos and just rest up a bit back. took about an hour and a half nap and doing my makeup again today. <laughs> I can't wait to wash my face. But um, mom and I are heading out tonight. We're gonna go to dinner around the hotel and then go see Hamilton. And we talked to everyone at the event about it. Like they asked, what are you doing? And we told them and they were all really excited. So I'm really excited. And yeah, it's just, it's exhausting day, but I'll bet the best day too. <laughs> Here we are guys, we're so excited, this theater is beautiful. I'm, wow, this is gonna be amazing, I'm gonna cry so much. And we will cry, second act. We will cry, second act comes 